So there was a few singular moments that stood out to me. One was just walking around the city and seeing billboards everywhere. I mean, little like down, like little underground markets, and there's jerseys hanging and photos hanging on the wall. And then you get out there, and there's billboards. I mean, we saw in the Australia game, he nearly hit his own face with a home run. Um, one person I was talking to though said, you know, when Shohei comes up, it's not as loud as you think, and it's because every single person has their phone out and is recording rather than clapping and cheering. And it's like, because yeah, when he first came up. I was like, you know, it's loud, but this is Shohei. Like, in the States, it, you get this giant applause when Shohei comes up. Like, yeah, everybody was filming. I think the home run ball that he hit against Australia, the fact that every person passed it around in that section, every single person just wanted for a minute to have something that Shohei did uh, was pretty unbelievable. And then just watching how because of his respect for the Czech team, how much, and now it wasn't just him, you know, we saw Roki Sasaki went and, and met with Willie Escala after hitting him, and we saw the whole team and, and the fan base show respect, but that when Shohei Otani wore a Czech Republic baseball hat, that the hats for the Czech Republic, not for Japan, but for the Czech Republic, they all sell out immediately because Shohei Otani's wearing a Czech hat. Uh, I think that was like the sign that was like, Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, uh, that, yeah, it was, um, cause Shohei's big here. You know that, uh, you're in Seattle, but, uh, I, I don't think I was ready for how huge a star he is. And that made me also respect him. I mean, I already respected him, but made me respect him more because you see how, how much people want from him also, right? They are, Team Korea sat down before Korea versus Japan, huge rivalry game. Shohei comes out to take batting practice and Team Korea sits down on the field to watch it. You don't do that for other players. I've never seen that in my life. It was, uh, every day was um, pretty startling to see the the love and, and adoration that everybody, everybody had for Shohei. That is unbelievable. Wow. It's like made his life, you know, he's this, he works for an electric company in the Czech Republic and that's not to take away from his baseball skills. He's a, you know, he's a very talented player, but to not only face Shohei Otani, who's bigger than Babe Ruth, he's the best baseball player who's ever walked the planet and to strike him out, that's going to be you know, written about 50 years from now, 100 years from now, the, you know, the day Shohei Otani struck out against the Czech amateur player. It's, it's pretty unbelievable. I, I've seen, he's tweeted it, I think. He's got the baseball, like, in a little box. And he has, like, a photo with Shohei. Everybody comes together. You're representing your country, but it's to meet people around the world. And, um, I, you know, one of my favorite things was, yeah, every everybody is united here for the love of baseball. And I think Shohei and Team Japan recognize that the Czech team, the Australians, have that love of baseball. Uh, you know, in, in, in the same way. And it was it was great to see from the fans and the players that, you know, everybody kind of came together uh, in that way. Yeah, so it, that, that was really interesting. It was interesting to watch too, because Tommy Edmond was trying to do the same thing for Team Korea. So obviously Tommy Edmond didn't work out as well for Korea, but maybe that's because, you know, they, they, they lost games. There's always the discussion like of team chemistry. It's like, is it the chemistry that leads to winning or is it the winning that leads to team chemistry? Obviously, winning makes everyone happy. I do think there was an attitude from Team Japan that was set by Kuriyama and by Otani that helped bridge that gap. You know, he doesn't really speak the language. I know he speaks some words and uh, I got to speak to Newt Bar um, in Osaka, I believe. And we talked a little bit. He's like, you know, 90% of communication is not verbal. You know, it's your it's your facial expressions. It's your it's your body posture, and it's baseball. We can all connect over baseball, whether we have the same words or not. Um, but we saw Koryama sit, you know, before the tournament when he welcomed Newt Bar to the team. He talked about how important it is to have this worldwide connection and to bring someone into the team. And then Otani, being the face of Samurai Japan being this leader, 
and him doing so much to bring him in. You know, there were the Tachan t-shirts like the first day that New Bar showed up to camp. I think that was a great way to bring everybody together. We saw them joking, you know, in the dugout a lot. And, you know, the, the pepper grinder, which took off, there was the, the, the special Newt Bar noodles and the pepper grinder sales took off. But we saw that, uh, you know, Otani told Newt Bar, whatever you do, that's what we'll do as a team. And so he let Newt Bar do something and then the whole team embraced it. So I, you know, every single player stepped up and welcomed him. But I think we have to give a lot of credit to the manager and to Shohei Otani for creating an atmosphere in which Newt Bar felt comfortable. And I think we have to give credit to Lars Newt Bar. You know, I met him, you met him. Uh, he's a he's a wonderful young man. But you know, he was open to the opportunity and he was excited to be there and, and he felt, you know, really honored and touched to be able to interact with this side of his his family and his culture. So did I expect it would go so well and Newt Bar would be this huge celebrity? And no, I don't think I saw that happening. Yeah. And his family played host to the, the, the high school team that I think Tanaka was on. So uh, yeah, I, I think he said, you know, he had he messaged with some of the guys and they were just so psyched that that he got to be out there and he got to represent the team. And, you know, I, I think baseball's global and it is global. And uh, I, I look forward to more of the ways that different countries can kind of come together and, you know, an, an American on Japan and maybe one day a Japanese player on America, you know, like the, the, the more of that, the more the more beautiful and, and whole the, the whole game can be. Cream sandwiches. To me, that's like my number one dessert now. Like I love, few people who follow me or who live in Japan were like, that's like five times what you're gonna pay here. I am so sorry. I am yelling and everyone else is speaking so quietly. 